Hi, I'm Victoria Hendrickson, and I'm going to be discussing how to take better, smarter action following your employee survey. It all comes down to your strategy, purpose, and focus. So to dive in, we're going to look at action efforts first at the top leadership level and then at the manager level. First, at the executive level or, or that top leadership team, there's that question of what should we work on as a company? This is really important because it provides overall guidance for how to focus efforts, and it sets the tone for all of the layers throughout the organization. At the company level, your top leader should identify one, maybe two key things to drive forward. One to two things may sound simple, but the goal is to identify these key areas to really stand behind and to do well, rather than working on a lot of things at once that might ultimately fizzle out. In selecting what to work on, survey scores are of course important, but what's high or low is not necessarily the driving force. Start with most, what's most critical to your business. So start by thinking about your strategic priorities and what the business is focused on. Consider how any survey topics might support those efforts. So if it's the year of quality, look at your quality items. Use the survey to start meaningful conversations about quality, barriers to quality, and overall how to improve. Sometimes we help executive teams identify these areas through strategic analyses or linkage research, although often it's really evident to the team what they should work on, and these analyses solidify the commitment and reinforce what's most important to the employee base. Ideally, your top team is going to pick those one to two things to work on as a company and communicate this broadly. Then the next step is for managers at different layers of the organization to consider what they should each work on to drive meaningful improvements in their teams. So that takes us to the next question, and that's how do we help all these managers know what they should work on? These managers are busy, they might not be data experts, and typically we can't provide them each with a consulting team to help figure it out. So here we leverage tools to make sure this is done consistently at scale. At OV, we have an algorithm that will identify the specific survey items that any one manager can have the most impact on. One of the keys here is we want to emphasize those items where the managers really can have an impact and make a difference. So for example, if your survey question on benefits is really low, we probably wouldn't suggest that as an area to work on. Most managers can't meaningfully impact benefits, so we wouldn't want to suggest that. It might feel deflating and ultimately it's not going to lead to action. We would want to suggest something more actionable, something like team climate or career support, something within the manager's sphere of influence that they can really drive forward. So here, we want to make sure that managers have a clear assignment. Typically, that's finding one to two things to work on. We want to provide them support in identifying the most actionable and impactful items. And then we want to provide ongoing reminders to make sure those efforts stay top of mind throughout the year as things get busy. So to recap, when thinking about your action efforts, uh, remember these three things. The first is to start with your strategy. What's going to support those bigger goals? Second thing is to remember the purpose of the survey and helping finding these key areas to focus rather than trying to address everything all at once. And finally, stick with what's most actionable. You want to drive these action goals that are doable and, and are realistic for a busy manager that's got a day job. All right. That's what I've got today for action prioritization. Keep an eye out for parts two and three in our action series.